Hello and welcome to Kicked Play Studio tutorials. In this tutorials, we'll look how to create a falling leaves, leaves from the tree. So let's um, look what we can do. And as example, right here, I gone on backyard. I took a leaf, scan it, and I created alpha map um, object of the leaf. And what we're going to do? We'll go create this pattern going from the leaves. So let's go ahead. This inside the view as a tree. I'm going to use a um, maple tree. Okay, we'll just go position right here, take our main camera, and just a little bit move so we can observe the tree. Next, what I want to do, I want to create the particle emitter. And I will use just plane for this. Okay, we can a little bit increase size and bring up. The next on this particle emitter, what I want it is, um, let's do First, I want to hide, so I'm going to go transparency, set to zero, and I'll create ecosystem. Um, what actually I done, I took a leave, and we have another tutorial how to create those particles for the butterflies or other ones. Scan, cut, create alpha map. And next, what we're going to do, we'll take this alpha map right here, and just will be right here, leave. We'll open, and you can see it's creating echo. So if we populate, it just simply is populating as ecosystem all over. What I want to do, I want to create a small amount of leaves going, not so many, so I'm going to go inside the density, but before I do this, let's switch to particle emitter. I'm going inside density, and first I want to emit all the time, because, um, okay, and um, I want to emit all the time, but I want a decrease, so I'm going and type 0 0.01, a very small amount. In this case, we'll have to only 10 inches, very, very small, but it will be emission flows all the time. Nice things about this because you can have it zero, but I want a bit more so you can go and type by hand your values if you need it. So right here we set, and if we start moving, you can see we have this flow of the leaves going down. The next, what I want with these leaves, we can have a couple of things we can take and rotate or we also not necessarily can rotate if we want them blown different times we can leave it here um however um a couple of things let's check particles where we have it and right here we have look on a turbulence okay we we'll, can leave it this as default for now we'll maybe come back when we need it readjust a little bit more effect but if we check Okay, right here you'll notice they're going down so we need to move them to do this best way it is apply um, particle effector so and right here we'll go we won't use normal we'll use directional ventilator for this okay I'm going to apply the problem is only when we start applying with ventilator you notice it's will let's point on the trees and look how what's happened to our tree kind of like go crazy almost. So what we need to do is decrease intensity. So normally what I'm doing, I'm going down till I see my tree probably about three maybe or two. So the trees that look kind of effect a little bit better. Let's move right here a little bit more. So it's kind of blowing but not very hard. Um, we can also apply additional effect of the intensity so add variation to this so it's kind of simulating breeze but it's okay for now and if we preview you can see leaves still falling down because even that affect our tree quite a bit but it does not affect our leaves and there's two things one we need enable for the ventilator to affect our um, particles they compute and the next thing, so what you notice, it is still does not affect. It doesn't produce enough wind. It's produce enough for the tree, but not particles. So we need to go inside the options, global particle, and right here, increase um, ventilator influence. So let's pop up all the way to the hundred for now. Okay, and we can see how well it will affect. So we'll go move a little bit more. It still does not produce effect. 
So we can go to 500. Let's click OK. Okay, next thing is what is happening. It's just slightly affecting. Probably our particles is too heavy. So let's open the particles. And right here we find it's one kilogram. So actually it's much lighter. So I'll set it to 10 grams. Okay. And you can see now it start kind of blowing them. So we already achieved kind of right effect with the blowing leaves. Um, next, what I want to do with this, it is add maybe a little bit random. The problem is if we add turbulence, even small effect on the turbulence, it will blow the leaves a little bit other proportions. So we need to be careful when we add. But turbulence will add kind of nice effect. Let me go to here and maybe add a little bit more. So let's put it one. Okay, it's add a little bit better. So we still have directions, but they're going to go lower. Um, we're okay with this, but right here, what I want to do, I want to add a um, little bit more drag coefficient. So I want them falling down a little bit faster. And for this, we'll just enable. And let's make, maybe set to 50 even. Okay, and right here, if you preview, it will be, the will should go down a little bit more, far, like right here, so we can see. Okay, this coefficient will maybe a little bit too high. So let's set to the 10. Again, remember, this is where cut off our ventilator. So we're kind of creating, we're creating a lot of particles. To avoid this, we want set death. We don't want over, overdo it. So we'll put it right here and set maybe three seconds. In this case, we'll kind of limit a little bit amount of particles. Okay, and you can see we still kind of produce nice blowing clips away. So this is uh, one way to do it. Okay, um, also we can tweak a little bit more. For example, if we don't need the um, last step, but what I wanted, we need to disable um, mass. So it will be constant mass. It won't be going that high up and down. Um, evolution, we don't need to do anything with size. We don't need to worry about periodic emissions, collisions. Um, death says we can set little bit span so it's less or more and you know, we can even decrease this amount. So in that case when we generating you can see it's emitted. Okay of course it's string going straight. To modify this we can go inside right here and just add a little bit more. our effect. Okay, let's go to inside. And right here we can add, let's see, on a drug effecting. So we can see that. Going a little bit too slow. Again, the reason why, because our weight is kind of changed some. We can actually give it back a little bit. 0, 3 maybe. So our weight just slightly. Modifying, so we'll have a little bit better going. But again, if you modify a little bit weight now, we need to go back and of course modify the value of the turbine. So you kind of start balancing between them till you have it very nice effect on our leaves. You can see how they kind of blank away with the, and adjusting turbulence and adjusting how heavy they are. You can achieve kind of very nice effect like so your leaves is blowing from your tree. But here's the one thing. This is okay if I, for example, create and I create a forest. A lot of trees maybe like this, you know. And okay, let me undo this one. 
So for example, I have some trees. You know, I maybe preset a bunch of them around here and it's so maybe what I want. I want to create some kind of forest look and I want leaves blowing from this forest, which is look good in this case. Uh, what if I want to do um, just single tree, maybe tree with the leaves and wind coming and blow away all the leaves. So we can do this. Um, you can actually find my particles is if you're going um, right here, you can see the maple tree. So it's what we're going to do to create this one. Uh, for that one, let's go to delete these trees. And as well, we don't need plane. You can save it and reuse if you want it, but I'm going to just delete it. And we'll just use this one tree. So what we're going to do, it's open right here. And you notice we have it leaves. What I want to do, I don't need these leaves. So I want just uh, branches. Um, inside of Photoshop, what I did it, I gone and I drew and created simple kind of like look almost branches with no leaves at all. So when we're going inside the view, I'm going to go right here and we can actually modify it. So let's go to edit. Okay, and I'm going to change particles and I'll just select this one. Okay, it also says become animated. No, I don't want it. But however, I want to take my transparency and connect to this one. Okay, so right now we have it our leaves and you can see it's kind of applied. So some changing um let me also change this one. Okay, it's a little bit lighter actually. Let me try one more time. Yes, apply transparency. There you go, it's better. Okay, so right here we have our trees kind of applied. Next, oh, if we preview, you'll notice we have it just only branch with no leaves. Now we need to apply leaves. For this, we create ecosystem. And I'm going to actually, oops, I don't need this, I needed leaves. And we'll use the same leaf particles, or actually the billboard so we create those ones and we'll go we can populate so if we populate as normal it will become our normal tree so let me go ahead and preview so right here you can see the normal leaves tree we need to do it turn them to the particle okay so let's take a second to populate and it will create a huge amount of the particles the reasons why because I'm on the middle so I'm just cancel okay let's go back to beginning okay till here what I want to do I want to enable just only once and again I want to create at least one maybe so let's see how many it's created this is about right if I want I can create a little bit less um, next we can create different coloring for them so example, um, we can select, let's go to material, color blend, and I want just maybe create a little bit yellow color. So you can see just a little bit applied, kind of overlay yellowish color, a little bit more full color. So we'll go with this one. Um, at this point, if we start going density, and again, I want to just meet it once, so let's just move for a second. And you can see our leaves already very nicely fall down. The trick is actually when we start creating, it is not just let them fall down, it's actually how we can control these particles. We are, if you remember, using, so we can go increase quite a bit effect of the ventilator. And let's take our ventilator, it's affecting. And I just want to verify we're okay right here. So it does affect, but I need to change the particles. So I need to decrease the weight of those particles, if you remember. Because if we check right now, 
it's a one kilogram so we need it go we'll reduce to 0 0.001 about we're gonna preview it's become a little bit better next I don't want them all fall at the same time for these ones I need to use some additional options and some of them the attachment force okay drug as well and a little bit more of the absorption coefficient so we'll have a drug enable I'll put this maybe about three and again we can go inside and actually change this one to about five so it's all effect on the trees you can see a little bit differently so let's go right here and change even if we change to three what's happening you'll notice some leaves will go faster and some slower so it will affect a little bit better that's how we can affect them as well and if we even set 10 okay you can see some of them start going early and some a little bit later so it start affecting on different timing because it's randomizing okay next we can also set effect on the mass but i think this is right now it's good mass size um you know maybe just a one to one it's okay uh, coefficient right here we can increase for randomization as well um let's leave it just 50 percent and preview in if you need it check our tutorials where we go over all of the settings what they mean so it's kind of helping okay and again i'm previewing right here so let's go back you can see we kind of start blowing but it's very nice because it's affecting uh, with different speeds so not all going exactly the same time kind of affecting um evolution i don't want to affect this periodic we don't need it collision and get depth it depends if you want to leave it them you can also do other kind of more fun stuff for example if we go and can enable elastic so about 50 and we'll go to the ground and let's enable collision okay so let me go back to our particles now here's become very interesting things um let me take a camera and just rotate so we can preview okay watch now so we have it leaves they will go some blowing going down but they kind of start bouncing and rotating from the ground so you can create this kind of extra effect you see how they kind of bouncing because they're a little bit lighter so you can have it a very fun effect um, with these leaves so see they kind of bouncing so you can create this effect kind of going leaves blowing on the ground from your tree so this is interesting things you can do with um, LST and as well as collision detection a little bit more natural leaves may be going over ground when they're blowing but also if you want if you're doing this one you may want to slightly pop up um, heaviness on your leaves in this case they will go a little bit more down as well you notice some leaves is kind of blowing we need to take care of that but overall right here so there you go they're a little bit heavier so they're slowly blowing down and moving okay. and maybe you know what reduce a little bit right here effect and right here the leaves is stacking it's because our weight okay so right here you can see some lighter leaves going a little bit away earlier and other ones slow okay and they right here which go early you can see how they're going on the ground and right here nicely bouncing on the ground okay overall you can see how with the particles we can create it you can also preview and load that particles um, from example and just analyze see how they're done how the all function work but you also can notice with the all settings you can apply natural effect to your particles um, the next step after this I do recommend we'll go check in our tools when you're using 
connecting to functions and drive those values based on a the function that you have more flexibility to apply it. Thank you for watching this tutorial from Geekit Play Studio. Please remember visit us on the web is www.geekitplay.com.